Data, data, data. Everything these days is about data. Data might be the most valuable resource that we have to offer. So it's very important to know how to protect it while we're using artificial intelligence tools. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pascal and I'm an IT consultant based in the Netherlands. I always advise my clients, family and friends to take back control and take protection of their data very seriously, especially when using free services or anything artificial intelligence related. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics in protecting your data while using ChatGPT. In March 2023, Italy banned ChatGPT due to a failure to comply to the European data law GDPR. And as a result, OpenAI quickly released an update in which they have implemented a setting that allows you to turn off data sharing and training the model. Let's see what OpenAI says about it on their website. So what are the data control settings? The data control offer you the ability to turn off the chat history and easily choose whether your conversations will be used to train our models. It's unfortunate that these settings are not separated. Maybe you want to save your chat history, but you don't want to train the model. And that's basically the trade-off that you have to make. Convenience for privacy. When someone is using ChatGPT, information about the conversation and its contents are stored on the servers of OpenAI. Of course, this is done so that ChatGPT can actually save your conversations for you, but also use it to train ChatGPT so that it can give better and more reliable answers. That the information is shared with OpenAI is something that the engineers of Samsung found out the hard way. They have experienced already three data leaks. One employee of Samsung reportedly asked ChatGPT to check sensitive database source code for errors. Another used it for code optimization. And a third fed a recorded meeting to ChatGPT and asked it to create minutes. So you can see if this contains private or personal information of someone, that this can be a big problem. And of course, while OpenAI is not selling this kind of information or data just yet, it is always a possibility that you have to consider when using a product like this. And that's why I'm always extra careful when using free services online and using a VPN to browse the internet. I'm currently using NordVPN and it helps me to protect my identity online and keeps my information out of hands of the bad guys. When you want to use ChatGPT in a safe way, having a VPN is simply not enough. You have to change some settings in ChatGPT and I'm going to show you how to do that right away. So first open up ChatGPT and then go to the bottom left corner where you can find your profile picture and your email address. And next to your email, you'll find three dots. Simply click the dots, click on the settings. Now you basically see a whole bunch of settings where you can change the theme to light or dark. Uh, you can clear all chats over here. But what we're going to do is we're going to the data controls tab. And over here you can toggle off saving the chat history and training. I'm going to click this toggle. From that moment on, ChatGPT will no longer save the chat history and will not use the contents of the chat to train the model. The top left corner mentions that the chat history is off and it basically says chats won't be saved in your history or used for training our models to improve ChatGPT. Unsaved chats will be deleted from our systems within 30 days. And what is also possible in data controls is that you can export your data so you can see what ChatGPT and OpenAI know about you and about your conversations. And that's it, you're set. So now we can ask it all kinds of questions that we don't want the engineers of OpenAI to find out about. Why is Google Bart so much smarter than you? Well, you can see that ChatGPT is still in denial. Remember, while AI tools are extremely helpful and can help us to improve our life in many ways, these applications have been trained on data and you are the number one source of providing that data. So make sure to protect it. Oh, and by the way, if you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Maybe let me know in the comments below how you are protecting your privacy and data online. If you want to know more about artificial intelligence, make sure to check out this video. And I'll see you in the next one.